Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this at Nisco Desert Airport. It is 20 to 12. You may now deactivate flight mode. Please keep your seatbelt fastened. Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. We are here in Monaco, where they're gearing up for the Monaco Yacht Show, which is happening in about two weeks. Uh, we're not here for that. The yachts are super expensive. We're not quite there just yet. Um, we're here to interview a chap called Oliver Cookson, who's the founder of My Protein. Uh, this is a chap who's written a book about entrepreneurship, which is very good. I've just been reading it on the plane uh, while, I've, while I've been here. And we're interviewing him tomorrow. So today we're just roaming around Monaco, getting a feel of the place, marveling at how ridiculously expensive some of these yachts are and it's going to be a productive two or three days here with the team. Alrighty, so we're chilling in a Starbucks where the Wi-Fi is reliable, um, doing work for a couple of hours before dinner. This is like, like so, sort of thing is one of my favorite things to do when I'm on holiday. And my mom always hates this because she's like, you're on a holiday, why are you working? But I kind of feel it, it's like, well, the nice thing about being able to work from anywhere is that you can also then kind of randomly go to Monaco for a few days or Croatia for a week and still do the work stuff. So the work stuff is fun. And so the way I see it is like, as long as I'm having fun, it doesn't really matter whether I am doing water sports or sightseeing or sitting on a laptop. And right now, sitting on a laptop is the thing I want to be doing, so here we are. Or maybe I'm just bullshitting myself and this is just like toxic productivity gone wild, but like, I, I genuinely don't think that's the case. Um, at least, at least for now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just wrapped up dinner. We've got Octavian, who's been with us for the whole day. Thank you for uh, replying to my Instagram story and for being down to just hang out with us and show us around Monaco. It's been it's been great fun. It's been a pleasure. And all the best with your degree and day trading endeavors. Thank you very much. And yeah, um, give us a shout if we can help with anything. <laughs> okay, of course. It's just been amazing to hang around with these guys and. I just wish them all the best in the world, to be honest. Just keep up the good work and work hard, because you're doing the world a better place. Oh, thanks, man. That's so kind. I've got a tear in my eye. Yeah, I have as <laughs> yeah. well. That's very sweet. But yeah, thanks for showing us around. I do have one question for you, though. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> What's one piece of advice you'd give to someone who's looking for success? Um, in enjoy the journey. Okay, now the destination. You, the you destination should, is never unsatisfying. Ali, okay, you yeah. should make that a question you ask every guest on your interview. Ooh, that's a good shot. Yeah. And, you can, and you'll know that that question has come from you. Yeah, oh. that's to our list of questions. Definitely. That's, fine, list. that's so nice. Yeah, I mean. All right, so it's the end of day one. It's been a good day roaming around Monaco, doing a lot of work, hanging out with the squad. Now we're having a semi-early night. It is 10.30 p.m gonna have a solid 10 hours of sleep. And then tomorrow is the big interview day. So thank you for being with us for day one. And good night, we'll see you tomorrow. How does the store close? All right, day two of the Monaco trip, chilling in the hotel again, just grabbing a new cheeky continental breakfast of Fasson, Jus d'Orange, and Café au lait. <laughs> Am I right? We've got the interview with Oliver in about three and a bit hours, so give me some time to prepare for it, 
and to do a bunch of other work. And yeah, we've got Amber and Angus and Matt here as well. So I guess we'll just hang out here in the hotel, do some work for the next few hours, and then we'll do the interview. One tip, one tip, and look, this is, I've made this a cliche now, but it is important, it is important, and no thing is another way of saying it, but no, there isn't, fear is a liar, and it is, it's something I've been coining, but it's so important, the sooner you realise that these fearful thoughts are going to bring absolutely no positive impact to you, they're not going to serve you at all, the more you can focus on good stuff. Right, so we've wrapped up the interview with Oliver. He was very nice, invited us into his home, had a chat for like two and a bit hours, that was pretty sick. And now we, he recommended us to chill at this Starbucks, which is overlooking the sea. And I guess the views would normally be quite good, but they've got a load of construction there happening right now for these fancy sea view apartments. So yeah, just hanging out for a couple of hours, killing time, uh, doing some productive work until we can go for dinner somewhere. So Oliver's given us a few recommendations and we're gonna try and land a reservation at some fancy ass restaurant for this evening as a final huzzah from the Monaco trip. So yeah, work time and then dinner time, let's go. So we have sneaked in to the Fremont Hotel Monte Carlo and we're at the Horizon Rooftop Restaurant where there's a pretty nice view and we can see a few super super yachts with people having parties and yeah, chilling here for our final decadent meal of the Monaco trip and having DMCs about life. Well, not yet, but they're gonna start soon. And the food is gonna be lit, I hope, yeah. just um, come out of the casino. We had a little excursion in there. We got some free credits to play some roulette table, I think it was. And Matt won some money and then lost some money and we all ended up losing money in the end. Um, but hey, good times. Interesting experience, never again. Would recommend visiting because it's an interesting, interesting place to hang out. Now it's absolutely pouring down with rain, so we've got to figure out a way of getting home without getting drenched. So let's see what we can do. Oh, right, we made it. Angus, thank you for taking one for the team and it's getting wet. <laughs> how, did, how did you, how do you feel? I feel, feel damp, soggy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All words we like to hear. Right, so that's the end of day two of the trip. We've done most of the things. Tomorrow we're gonna wake up, have breakfast, do some work, and fly back to the UK. So night, night, and see you tomorrow. Mm. All right, it's day three. We've been spending the last three hours at the hotel, just doing some work. And now we are going out and about to go on a little thumbnail mission try and find a thumbnail for this vlog. So we just need to take a bunch of photos, some of which hopefully we can use on the gram as well, and just kind of scatter the area, find a nice pretty place to take some pics. All right, so that's it, we've got the thumbnail. This wraps up our three-day productive trip to Monaco. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. Do hit subscribe if you aren't already, and we'll see you hopefully in the next video. Bye-bye.